Hey what's up guys, KSK Ryle here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse, an integrated development environment for writing a Java program. I'm going to be walking you through from installing a Eclipse and setting up on Windows PC. Also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Java project and compiling it and running it. So make sure that you check the links in the description. The first link will going to be take you to this page. So you need to download the a JDK, which is a combination of the software development kit and Java runtime environment. Click on the a download button. Once you click on the download button and then click on the accept license agreement. Now in the bottom, you can find the a option for the windows. Click on that file. That's going to be a download the a JDK for windows PC. Once you download it and go to this another website, eclipse.org forward slash downloads and forward slash eclipse dash packages. Once you go to this website, you're going to find the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. To the right, you can find the it is available for both 32-bit as well as the 64-bit computers. It's according to your choice. I'm going to go with the 64-bit. Basically, my computer processor is 64-bit based. Click on the download. Once you click on the download and Eclipse will going to be start downloading it. Now go back to the downloads folder. Now you need to install the a Java development kit on your Windows PC by double clicking on it. This will going to be installed the both software development kit and the runtime environment because runtime environment is necessary in order to run the Eclipse. Now as you can see it's almost done and installed on the Windows PC. So to prove that whether it is installed or not, I'm going to go to this my computer and then click on the C drive and right inside that you can find the program files Java and then you can find this JDK as well as a JRE. Now we have successfully set up and now we need to go ahead and extract the Eclipse. Once you extract the Eclipse and uh, go into that folder and then we need to uh, paste that Eclipse folder into the C drive. Go ahead and right click on the Eclipse and then click on cut. Now go to your C drive. Right inside the C drive, you need to paste into the a program files if you have downloaded the 64-bit one. If you have downloaded the 32-bit one, you need to paste right into this location. I'm going to go ahead and select the program files and then right click and then click on the paste. Now Eclipse has been copied into this program files. I'm going to go ahead and open the Eclipse and then you're going to find the application. Right click on that and then click on the create shortcut. I'm going to drag that shortcut to my desktop. Now go ahead and double click that shortcut to launch the Eclipse. For the first time, the Eclipse will going to be asked you to save the workspace. Then select this option, use this as a default and then click on launch. Once you click on launch, Eclipse will going to be launch the welcome screen. I'm going to go ahead and close that welcome screen. And once you close it, you can see the default perspective for Java development. Let me quickly gonna go to the preferences. I'm gonna change the theme from a light to black because it's actually killing my eyes. In order to create a Java project, you need to click on the file and then click on the new and then click on the Java project. Now you can name the project whatever you want to. I'm gonna simply name it as a hello and then click on finish. Now it will gonna create a Java project without a class. Now right click on this folder and then choose new and then select class. Because every Java program do need a class. So I'm going to name the class as a first. You can name it as whatever you want to. And then I'm going to select this option because Eclipse automatically going to generate a main method. Now once you click on the finish, it's going to be uh, generate the default code for the first Java file. It's going to be create a class with the name first and now right inside the method I'm going to write a small statement that's going to be a print to the console as a hello world. Once you're done writing your Java code you need to compile it. For this on the toolbar you need to look for this button which is a play button. Click on this button to compile and run your code. That's it. As you can see on the console, you can see that it's printed the hello world. That's how you can install the Java and then setting up your project and compiling it. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, if you have any suggestions for any videos, do let me know in the comment sections down below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.